There are no strings on me. All right, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Carnage your Primitive AK here back with another video for you guys today. Today we are here with our first ever Call of Duty Vanguard video. Uh, big, big, I'm so hyped to be able to finally cover this game for you guys. And we got a lot of information to cover in a short amount of time. Um, so if you guys are interested in the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys showing the love and support. We're gonna be having daily videos and possibly more than one video for today as well, covering some of the basics on Call of Duty Vanguard to get you guys started and also geared up for Warzone. So make sure you guys hit that like button Button. let's try to get 50 likes on this video i'd greatly appreciate it so for those that are curious um you were able to level up both the stg and the m1 garand uh, in Warzone quite a bit of some time ago. You can still do this now if you don't have the game yet. But uh, I do have my STG at max level thanks to leveling this up in Warzone. And I am able to see all of the camel challenges and unlocks. So uh, for those that are curious, here's your max level STG. We'll be doing a class setup video on this uh, at another date. But as you guys can see, you have the pack tactics, surgical, camos the predatory ambition camos uh these are all basic camos that you guys basically all see here your surgical this is pretty standard here as well um, this one actually does look pretty nice uh the camel challenges to unlock pack tactics are going to be to basically just get kills so to max this out you're going to need to get 400 eliminations to unlock the final stage of that one for the surgical stage uh to unlock the final stage of this one you're going to need to get the uh 100 headshots with the weapon so that's going to take you a bit of some time but very easy to get done as well your predatory ambition this is the third tier of the weapon you're going to need to get 50 multi kills with the weapon to be able to get this one done very easy again next step is going to be the red reptilian camo step uh, for the assault rifles and this one's going to be to get five kills without dying 30 times on the weapon and that'll unlock the final stage of that one your next stage is going to be dead eye this is going to unlock the final stage here to get 100 long shots uh, it says long range kills but they're basically just long shots so nothing too crazy or out of the norm there and the next step is going to be berserker camos uh not, not once again not bad looking camos at all you're gonna need to get 100 point blank kills so point blank kills are basically uh you at close range to the enemy target and you need to basically either hit fire ads they need to be within your face basically a kissing range if that makes sense uh so you're gonna need to get 100 of those your next step here is going to be the wildcat to get this one you're going to need to get 250 eliminations with 10 attachments equipped so you're going to need to have all the attachment slots uh equipped with an attachment and you need to get 250 kills with that once again very easy to get done uh, survival this is the next step here you're going to need to get 100 ads kills with the krausnik 222 millimeter rapid barrel the 7.62 granoko 30 mag and the vdd 27 uh vdd 27 uh precision stock on the weapon so you need to use those specific attachments and get basically 100 ads kills with it very easy uh but very specific as well it's the very first time we're seeing something like that um mind games is going to be the next stage here this is very similar to the skulls camo from uh, modern warfare uh you're going to need to get 100 headshots with the 620 precision barrel uh 30 with the uh 30 surround mags as well and also you'll need to use the last attachment uh which is the uh, vital perk equipped uh, on the weapon so you need this vital perk uh so you have to use the specific attachment make sure you guys read these things carefully because if you're not paying attention you may end up missing it uh and not paying attention to it and lastly for your main camels here you're going to get the death artist uh camel tears you're going to need to get uh 100 kills while moving with the 30 round 30 russian short 20 mags uh crow's tech I am just can't even pronounce that, tactical stock and the pressure perk. So once again, very specific attachments. These camel challenges aren't bad. The only thing I'm concerned about is the, uh, is the, uh, goal, is the, um, the only thing that I'm really concerned about most is getting the uh, point blank kills. I feel like that's going to be a thing that a lot of people struggle with here. Um, but it, it's very easy. It's just a matter of time. I guess. Uh, and lastly, the big thing that everybody's curious about is going to be the gold camo. Here is your gold camo on the weapon on the STG. This one looks pretty nice. Uh, it looks like it, it looks a little bit different. Um, it's not not bad at all, but uh, it is certainly different uh, and it is bright. I do like that as well. Here is your diamond camo for those that want to check that out. Uh, looks very similar to uh, looks very similar to the uh, what's it called? The um, the, the diamond camo from uh, World War Two. I think it was World War Two that had it. I can't remember. Um, which cod had it uh, looks a little bit like black ops one as well um and also here is your atomic camo this is the final stage camo for the 
uh, entire game. So for those that are curious what the dark matter or the dark ether of this game is, that is the camo um, for the final stage for multiplayer challenges. So uh, some people feel indifferent about this camo. I think it actually looks pretty nice. Um, that's just my honest opinion. I think it looks great, actually, but some people are not necessarily the biggest fans of it, uh, which I can understand why, but overall, I think it looks pretty nice. And for you zombies grinders out there, I won't go through the uh, like the whole camel tier list. It's actually very easy. Once again, zombies, you gotta get 4,000 eliminations. Surgical, you gotta get 800 critical kills. Predatory ambition, you need to get uh, 4,000 pack-a-punch kills. Reptilian, you need to get 10 rapid fire kills 50 times. Um, Deadeye is going to be 2,000 eliminations as a result of the of an equipped covenant. I have no idea what that is, but if you play zombies, you'll probably know what that is already. In zombies, you get 100 boom Shrier eliminations. Once again, I don't play zombies. I don't know what that is. I haven't touched zombies yet, but uh, once we play zombies, we'll probably figure out exactly what that is. Wildcat, you're going to need to get 20 Sturm Krieger eliminations. Uh, survivalist camels, you're going to need to get 2,000 eliminations with seven attachments. Mind games, you're going to need to get three or more rapid critical kills 30 times. Very easy. Death artists, you're going to need to get 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit 20 times. Once again, very easy to get done. And for your completionist camels, here is your golden viper camo, which is the same name that we had in the previous game, but it actually looks much different on this game. And I will say it looks pretty freaking nice. Uh, and also here is your plague diamond camo, which looks the same as diamond camo. Uh, but it looks like there's like some sort of redness effect on it. If you look on the barrel of the gun, you see there's sort of like this blood red. I guess that's sort of what they changed there. But for the most part, it looks exactly the same as diamond camo, um, which is kind of unfortunate, I guess. But maybe it looks a bit different on different weapons. We'll have to see. And lastly, here is your dark ether camo, the max level camo for you zombies grinders out there. Guys, I'm excited to grind both of these out. I'll be focusing on multiplayer, trying to get the STG gold first because I do have this weapon maxed out already. So it's going to be very easy for me to get this one done very quickly. But anyways, guys, thank you guys again so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. And it is your boy Carnage of Primitive AK signing out. Peace out, fellas.